My name is Frank Gallio. I am 72 years old. I had uh, RK done 40 years ago, and Dr. Gulani was the only one who a year ago, almost a year ago, performed surgery uh, on my uh, cataracts, because I was told they, no one could uh, perform surgery, it was too risky. And here I am almost a year later from day one, my first eye, I saw perfectly, so I was very confident about the second eye. And uh, now both eyes, I can see beautifully, don't need glasses for reading or for far away. As a matter of fact, I was telling the doctor that this morning, I was at my son's house and for the first time I went in and took a shower and I could see which was the shampoo, which was the conditioner, because I don't need glasses anymore, I can just see perfectly. And I'm just amazed. And uh, I was just wondering, are there any other surgeons who can perform that kind of surgery? Well, Frank, first of all, it's a pleasure sitting with you. As you can see, it's uh, Monday morning. Yes, very busy with patients landing. Many of them are cases are landing from all over the world. But it's always a pleasure when many, any of my, my patients have asked me for doing this with y'all. Uh, I call them grilling sessions uh, impromptu. So for uh, all the RK radio keratotomy patients watching, uh, this is a wonderful gentleman. All my patients are amazing. Came to me with 20 cut radio keratotomy cornea with scarring, very dense cataract, and very high regular stigmatism. And we did a lensoplastic surgery, which is my concept of performing surgery, including removing the heart cataract without stitches in these eyes. And how bad was the surgery? That was the amazing part. I could feel pressure, but there was absolutely no pain. And uh, after a couple of days, you know, my vision just kept getting sharper and sharper. So we did the surgery. In most cases, uh, just numbing drops. And, um, and the uh, most important part is not even that, is the intensity. So Frank, none of this is easy as you can imagine. I have to look through those 20 cuts and perform surgery on difficult situations. Plus I'm aiming for a mathematical endpoint, your vision which actually is very difficult to predict. As you know, I'm just blessed that all of you are doing so well, my patients, uh, RK patients, but uh, as you know, none of you are guaranteed the outcome. In fact, you'll sign pages of consents that say that you will not see well or whatever, because it's a fact, your cornea is a hurricane. So this concept uh, for all radial keratotomy patients watching is how to lead back your very distorted, if I may, broken, scarred radial keratotomy cornea and yet make you three see through the optics inside the eye. That's what makes it very difficult. So many surgeons are capable of doing cataract surgery, as you know, but there are very few who can do cataract and refractive techniques. And then very, very few who can understand radial keratotomy optics, which are so distorted and changing right. all the time and do it. So I've been teaching these concepts for now three decades to my colleagues all over the world. I'm teaching it actually through my patient experiences. As you can tell, I'm still addicted, enamored with the outcomes I see with all of y'all. So uh, lensoplastique is a concept where most of you are coming to me at a cataract age, all right? And at that point, I go inside your eye. I work on the optics through different technologies and I cancel the optical imperfections of your RK cornea without touching the RK cornea. Right. If you had come to me in your 40s or in your early 50 years of age, I can do laser plastique on your RK corneas and shape you and make you see despite your cuts. But this is more difficult surgery. I'm entering your eye, looking through these cuts, operating, you're alive and breathing. And I have to be optically so accurate using three decades of my experience for you to land at an optical endpoint, which is vision, despite those RK cuts still being there. In some cases, when the patients who come to me are so immeasurable, I actually plan two stages for them where I first do a lens-based surgery, then later I come out and do a laser plastique on their broken cornea, which are so distorted to make them see. Again, remember, you may surely need some glasses contacts after surgery, I tell all of y'all, but I'm so just blessed all of you land with such amazing vision. And that's why I keep following y'all up because this is a, a, my uh, integrity and accountability yeah. that I let y'all be on camera for no incentive. There's no Starbucks card for you, right? No, you were very upfront. You said, I cannot guarantee 100%, but I will do the best I can. And I, had, uh, I felt a confidence in you that, uh, you know, I, I had a trust that uh, you were going to do the best you, you could, and you certainly did. I'm so pleased with the results. 
and doctors every Sunday I'm here about eight hours planning alone meditating and planning for all our K patients who are landing because it's truly a commitment surgeries are extremely difficult for me because again I want so much out of y'all I want to make y'all see it's very difficult because there's no predictability remember your RK cornea cannot be measured second your RK fluctuates so imagine a target that cannot be seen and the targets also moving and you have to still physically perform a surgery through these difficult eyes without breaking open the RK cuts and come out without a stitch and everything that I like for y'all and comfort and vision and that's the what I want doctors to do so you don't have to come to me as long as you can encourage your eye surgeons to do these things to answer your question why other doctors don't do this I'm sure they are capable but it requires a tremendous investment of time uh, right. focus of course you can see the levels of diagnostics and technologies the surgical sweep that is specially made for these kind of cases and the fact that you have to put in your decades of experience three decades of working with all kinds of RK cases there are many myths that have been brought up with number of patients from RK who uh, have heard of me and then they uh, have a lot of questions because they've been told nothing can be done your doctors are not wrong it is complex but I do believe everybody should fight to, you know, you're all dynamite people, RK patients. You're all type A. Yes? Yes, absolutely. There, there's, Personality doesn't change. You know, there's a healthy skepticism to that. But uh, once you do your research and you see the success that you've had, I, I think the patient says... More than even success, Frank, as I said, I'm blessed with these results. I mean, like my patients now are telling me, Doc, just tell everybody you're amazing. Well... I could surely take credit for all the results that I'm getting, but I truly believe it's an outcome of tremendous commitment. I mean, I have to perform physically on these dangerous eyes, and I have to repeat it on their other eye. Yes. Then I do it on your families and friends, you'll fly here. <laughs> and each one of you are differently cut, so you are not even predictable. That is going to be my next question. They're all, so they're all a little different, everyone requires different. All different. There's another myth I would call here. I've done patients with uh, over 40 cuts RK and I've done their cataracts and no stitch and they're seeing and what my point is it's not about how many cuts yes more the cuts more the difficult but what is even more important are the associated problems I recently did a patient from uh, Cleveland she was sent over she had traumatic cataract under a 14 cut RK now that's horrible because the cataract is already dangerous and you're doing it through these cuts and you want to come out with vision another patient I saw an attorney had Fuchs dystrophy of the cornea with 16 cut RK with scars all around that couldn't help me measure again difficulty level so the 40 cut actually can be easier if it's nice straight linear cuts with nothing else going on while a 4 cut RK which has now become bulging and ectatic with scarring could be more dangerous and more difficult to predict so I hope that point gets across there are many associated factors that you could have your type of cataract your type of irregular astigmatism your magnitude of the refractive error the scarring the amount you fluctuate and then the cuts and how the cuts are done and then if you've had previous surgery like many patients come to me after multiple surgeries so have you had lasik on your rk which is a total no-no if you had prk over your rk you had cross-linking on your rk you had a transplant after your rk makes it even more complex so if you look at it from this holistic point of view that's why i spend hours with you all if you're remembering your pre-ops yes hours because it has to be a commitment I, I have to dive in and help y'all, but it is very intense for me. How many hours of preparation go into that brief surgery? Because the surgery did not last very long. More easy, more important point is it's three decades, 30 years of experience. Uh -huh. And then, of course, hours and hours every Sunday, even for your second eye, if you remember. Yes. Again, I work on Sunday, planning, deciding, and then I catch you and again measure you before going to the second mm -hmm. eye. So it is intense, doctors. This is not magic. It's become a commitment. It's um, I really, and I'm, I'm indebted to my patients who are going on these rare keratotomy forums and sharing their uh, experiences. None of them are incentivized. None of them get anything from me. Of course, my thanks all the time. But these are actually not even normal people. All of these patients, all of you RK people, are very intelligent, very well researched, very uh, accomplished, and yet you're not spending your time talking about me. I'm indebted. Uh, I don't do this for money. I don't need more patients. Uh, I'm blessed. But it's become a calling. It's become a calling. So I can never say no. When you ask me, sit down, doc, you know, some questions, it's, it's always a pleasure. Whoever I can teach. If you can inspire your doctors, please. I've been doing it for three decades, teaching eye surgeons all over the world. 
If you can go back to your surgeons and inspire them to fight for you, not to give up. Contact lenses, Frank, another question you had before. Contact lenses are great modalities, clearer contacts and all that, but that's what I call a Superman suit. You're putting that on, you can see. You take it off at night, you have a 40 inch waist. That's reality. So your vision is not only poor, you're not being treated. And as time goes on underneath the contact lens, your cornea is deteriorating more and more and getting scarred by the time you come to me, even more difficult for me to fix you. So even though contact lenses are very important, I like that if in case I cannot reach perfection with you because of your RK or whatever level of impossibility, then after my surgery, you can surely wear a contact. Absolutely, that's a great role. But to put it on without surgically correcting and letting you stay with your fractured cornea getting worse underneath over time is not right. That's my take on that aspect. So the lens implants, doctors. Many people ask me, doc, new lens technologies. There is a lens that can be adjusted called light adjustable lens. There's a lens which is small uh, aperture, pinhole lens. Think about it for a minute. If a tailor provides you with a suit and says, I have included four alterations, what does that mean? Did you, he didn't do it right the first time, he has to come back and <laughs> redo the alteration. Well, exactly. Not only that, it is giving that tailor the opportunity to not work hard. Because mm -hmm. he already told you, I'm going to alter this. Mm -hmm. So, all these technologies, remember, I'm, I love technology. I'm always among the world's first to do these things, even before FDA approval, because of my international privileges abroad. But there has to be a logic. You can't just put in a lens without spending the energy, time or experience and planning for him. And just because you have four opportunities now to readjust it, it does not make sense. Second, I've seen a number of these patients come to me miserable with their outcomes. Uh, some of them are even fixed. And then the small aperture lens, another great advance in technology. But again, for cases that cannot be corrected, you cannot just put it in every case because you don't want to work hard uh, as a doctor. So that's my take, please. Nothing wrong with it, that's my take. My take is, all RK patients can see. They are very complex, very difficult to work on. Yes, honestly, I tell them there is no guarantees of any outcomes with me, but I'm blessed with the consistent results I've had over three decades and the fact that all of you are real people. And that's why I've done something very difficult, Frank, if you can imagine. All of you I have put on video during surgery, post-surgery, yes. as you'll come for follow-up. Yes, no doctor I know of has done this for three decades. That to not ordinary patients, remember. Very easy to put an easy Susie on your video uh, when you're doing a simple LASIK, right? You are predictable. You know the result's gonna be great. But I'm working on unpredictable, very intelligent, demanding patients who many a time are skeptical when you come, yes. right? And that's my way of holding myself accountable uh, that I want them to question me uh, because I don't have to do this. It's just it's become a common an honor. Well, I'm pleased that I found you and it's a pleasure knowing. Thank you. I'm Obvious. very, very happy with my results. So please, patients of real keratotomy, no matter what your complexity, also if you've had cataract surgery, no matter what lens is put in, you can still be helped with laseroplasty. So there are so many ways to help you. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's my pleasure and of course, there's a lot of information on our website, golanivision.com. And I'm always here to answer questions for you, your eye doctors, your optometrists, your eye surgeons, anybody. So please don't give up hope. You can be helped. Dr. Golani. Frank, anything else you want me to say? No, that's about it. Impromptu why, Monday morning. Why aren't there more doctors like you? Is it is it too difficult? I'm sure there are. Uh, Frank, it's just... I want doctors to enjoy the relation that a uh, patient doctor can have. I want them to fight uh, for each one of you. I want them to treat you all like family, produce the results. Right. So that's become really a that's that uh, it will happen. I'm sure there are many good doctors on this planet. That, that was the other thing. You didn't make me feel like I rushed me in, rushed me out. Uh, that you were, took all the time I needed. That you, I needed to for you to answer my questions, make me feel comfortable with the surgery. Of course. So, so thank you very much. Great seeing you back. Thank you. And now, uh, this is another thing, uh, you know, I, and I get involved with becomes a lecture. Now we're doing moist therapy for Frank. Ah, yes. Which is for his dry eyes, which is also very important because your broken corneas, the tear film breaks down a lot, which we'll do today for him. 
uh, added one year post-op, I can do it at three months post-op before surgery, depends on how bad each one is. So again, look at the holistic approach you should have. The tear film, the corneal aspect, the lens aspect, the optics aspect. We are literally repairing a damaged um, system. So it is difficult and unique because each one was cut differently. Right. Thank you.